Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and they just renewed Arrow for Season 3, so I thought it would be fun to talk about the top 5 stories that they should adapt from the comic books. I'm talking about specifically Green Arrow stories. They tend to grab from all over the DC Universe, but we can always talk about stories from, say, like the Batman Universe and other places in a future video. I'm also going to be doing my top 5 Flash stories next week. Be sure to subscribe to get that video if you're finding me for the first time. I'll also be doing an Arrow video for the top 5 characters that they need to bring on the show next year. Hint hint, Slade's children. So just to preface real quick, one of the really cool things about this announcement is, is that it came really early in the season. We're only about halfway through. Typically they don't make renewals till after a season is over. So it means the CW has a lot of confidence in Arrow. Like six seasons in a movie confidence. So here we go, top 5 green Arrow stories they need to adapt next year. Number 5, Road to Jericho. This featured the Red Hood, Jason Todd, attacking Speedy. Oliver tries to deal with him, and it eventually turns into one villain after the other just tag-teaming him, including Deathstroke, Merlin, Brick, and Constantine. At the end of the story, he also ends up asking Black Canary to marry him. There are a couple aspects of the story they'd have to change, because a lot of the Batman characters are legally tied up in Fox's new Gotham TV show. They could use Slade's son Jericho, or even Ravager, to come after Roy for revenge in the wake of whatever's going to be happening in the Season 2 finale. We don't know what's going to happen to Slade yet, but it's definitely not going to end well. He won't die, but he will be beaten very badly. This is also an opportunity to bring Slade's children onto the show. Of all the people that they've talked about in Arrow, they're the most notable characters that we have not seen yet. And bringing them on will give us a backdoor to one, Young Justice, and then two, Teen Titans eventually. Number four, Archer's Quest. Who wants an Oliver road trip? It's all about Oliver reclaiming all these really sentimental personal items from all over the world, including a lot of family heirlooms. They did a brief Team Arrow road trip to Russia this season already, you know, in that Diggle-centric episode, but it would be a good opportunity for a uh, Roy and Oliver Ramblin' Man story. It's always fun to see them travel outside of Starlink City, or they could always swap, you know, that Roy part for Felicity. Raise your hand if you want to see an Oliver Felicity road trip. Just think about it, the idea of them sharing a motel room would just break Tumblr. Number three, Hard Traveling Heroes. Who wants a Green Lantern crossover? This is also a road trip story, but it's most notable for being a Green Lantern crossover story. It's Oliver, Hal Jordan, and Black Canary solving problems as they travel across the Midwest, you know, Jack Kerouac style. But think about it, if they changed Hal Jordan's part for Grant Gustin and made it a Flash Arrow crossover, it'd be so much fun. Just imagine them on a road trip together. It's really unclear at this point what the crossovers next year are going to look like between the two shows, but it's likely that they'll involve major villains. Last year's Arrow road trip story was a pseudo-Suicide Squad story, but they could always get Oliver involved in a rogues gallery storyline. Number two, Longbow Hunters. This is where it starts to get a little bit dark. This actually features an aging Oliver, which they'd have to fudge just a little bit, but he tracks down a serial killer while Black Canary tries to take down a drug circle. It's actually the story where Oliver first meets Shadow, which obviously they'd have to change as well, just based on her being dead on the TV show. The reason it's super dark is because Oliver ends up murdering one of the villains that he finds torturing Black Canary. Arrow kind of did this during Season 2 when Count Vertigo was going to inject Felicity with the Mirakuru. So technically the TV version of Oliver has already gone into that, you know, dark territory. Some changes they could make would be, again, you know, swapping the Shadow character for, say, Ravager, or even the Sin character, because Bex Taylor Kloss would actually have a slightly expanded role next year anyway. They could even swap Oliver and Black Canary's roles. Remember, she's just left the League of Assassins, so she hasn't really pacified herself in the way that Oliver has tried to do this year. Remember, his character is all about not killing people, which is something that Sarah is still kind of dealing with. She still has some rage issues. And number one, Cry for Justice. This is really dark and a bit of a long shot, but it's super epic. Oliver basically goes nuts in this storyline. It involves Prometheus chopping Roy's arm off. It's a story all about how Oliver is undone as a person after his family and team are decimated. Right now, they're actually kind of teasing this with Slade's storyline in present day. Slade is going to try and destroy Oliver's life by destroying everything he loves. What they could do that would be really epic and kind of meta would be having Oliver cross the line going after villains and have Amanda Waller send the Suicide Squad to stop him. It would be like the government going against Team Arrow. I don't think they'll do something quite that dark, but it would be awesome to see Amanda Waller and Oliver go after each other. All that being said, here is a bonus choice that's really cool. Since Arrow borrows a lot of stories from all over the DC Universe, it would be amazing to see them do like a Days of Future Past type storyline with Kingdom Come. You could actually even involve a practical time travel aspect of the storyline via The Flash and Star Labs. Maybe something a little bit more practical than the Cosmic Treadmill, but it would be just a story where you have Oliver trying to prevent a much darker timeline from actually happening. It would even be a way to kill a major character like Felicity or Thea or even Oliver himself and then kind of reverse everything at the end of the storyline. 
So now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments which story do you want to see Arrow do next year from the comic books. Remember, next week I'm going to be doing my top five Flash stories that they should do on season one of that show, and I'm going to be doing my top five characters that Arrow needs to introduce next year. There's so many other people that could come onto the show. Don't forget tomorrow, two videos for Valentine's Day. I'm doing Hannibal Season 2 and Supernatural Season 10. Right now, click here to learn all about the Arrow Flash crossovers that are going to be happening this season as well as next season, and click here to get my latest Arrow Q&A. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.